Hi guys, I'm Sam from Website Right. Hope you're doing well today. And on this video, it's about the Divi Page Builder. Now, I usually use WP Bakery Page Builder, or I sometimes use Visual Composer. Uh, I have used Elementor and Cornerstone, things like that. Beaver Builder is actually supposed to be very good as well, and that's one thing I really want to get into. Um, but yeah, this is about the Divi Theme Builder, Page Builder with blocks and stuff. It can be a little bit clunky. However, there's been a problem that one of my clients had today that I've managed to solve. I didn't really know how to do it, but I had a click around and I thought I'd share it with you because you never know. Um, it may solve your problem too. So if it has or you like this video, click the thumbs up and why not give me a subscribe as well. Really appreciate all the comments and feedback I've had and, the, and anyone subscribing, I love you. Hit the notification bell and you'll be alerted to the new videos. So their situation was this, right? They've got three or four sites that are all using the Divi Builder and one of the sites is perfect and they needed a layout from one of the pages and they needed to put it on another one of their sites and there wasn't a clear way to do it. Now in WP Bakery Page Builder you can just um, you, you can sort of exit the builder and then click the text tab on WordPress and then turn it into code and transfer it to the target site and then it will just make it all brilliant. Uh, whereas with, in Divi Builder you can't do that because it's like separate. It doesn't create code in the background. It's like this is the way it is. But I found a way to actually export the layout of a particular block or a whole page from one site and then you can import it into the target site, meaning all the, the positioning is there. It's as it should be. So this video is going to show you how to do it. So the website I'm working on for this example is called V3 Electronics. Now, because my screen is uh, shrunk to a particular size, you've got the mobile menu there. I just thought I'd mention that for you now. Um, this is not how the main site looks like. They've actually got their mobile menu set quite high, really, but never mind. Uh, this is the layout that I want to copy here. Now, obviously, you can see that it's fairly simple to do. It's two rows of four columns there however you know sometimes in Divi you just want it as it looks on that page and then put it across to a different site so let's just do this now and let's log in to the admin of this particular website and it's the about us page where we've got this layout and uh, as I scroll down I should be able to locate this here it is yeah you've got the four icons so you've got basically the icon there and then the text headline underneath like so as you can see uh, but what I need to do is click on the the parent sort of div or block and click this icon here the hamburger icon which will bring up the menu and then you can click save and add to library so you can call it a name uh, like I'm gonna call it icon set um, you don't have to click make this a global item but if you do what that basically means is that if you were go to go to another page on your website uh, you'll be able to load in this block no problem at all and once you change it once it'll change it across the site which is quite handy and then click save and add to library Once you've done that, on the left hand side under Divi, you can then go to Divi Library. And you'll see that the block that's just been saved or the layout has appeared here, which is brilliant. Uh, and what we can now do is we can actually export that to a file. So if I was to click and select it, and then up here, look, you've got import and export, which is great. And then we only want to select the items that are selected. So only export those. And uh, you can call it whatever you want, Divi Builder Layouts, whatever. Export it, and what it'll do, it'll download a file to your computer in the background. It will be a JSON file. So that's all been done there. So this is now our target website. And needless to say, we need to do the same, but the other way around. So we need to go to Divi, and then to Divi Library. And have a guess what we do. Of course, we go to Import and Export. And then what we can do is click the import tab, choose the file on your system, import Divi Builder Layouts. Okay, that's all done. So I can close it off. And what it's going to do is refresh the page and look what we've got here. We have got the icon set from the other website, which now means that if I was to go to a random page on the website, for instance, let's go to the company about us page. I'm going to click edit there. And now you can see that the Divi builder has loaded. 
And I want to put this, uh, these particular icons uh, just under this uh, specific text block here. So just underneath it, I can click add from library and then there's the icon set, select that and it's all been imported and it is easy as that.